Hey, what's up guys? This video is a supercar speed test on a short track on a custom uh, 0.63 mile track that I created. I tested over 25 supercars. Most of them were cars that I've done in the past before. You might have uh, remembered that I did a supercar speed test uh, a few months ago, sometime around when gun running came out. But there's been some new cars that have come out since then in the uh, Southern San Andreas Super Sport series and then some other cars released. So I figured it was about time to go ahead and uh, do one of these. What I'm going to do is just uh, show you the top 10 cars. I don't want this video to last too long and if I had to do all uh, 26 or 27 supercars, you know, this would take forever. So again, most of these cars times do match up with the video that I posted uh, a few months ago, except for some of the new cars like the Tesseract, the Tyrant, a couple of those cars that I'm testing out. So again, there's a lot of different supercar speed tests that you guys can go by depending on what you're looking for. If you're looking for a quarter mile track, a half mile track, I will be testing these cars again in part two on a one mile track that I have uh, created. And this will basically give you a good idea of uh, what to expect. So right now we have a type of 10 between the uh, Progen GP1 and then we also have the Cyclone. So we've got the GP1 next. This car I feel is a little too expensive for what it gives you. It's, uh, you know, barely just cracked in the top 10 as far as uh, acceleration and speed again over this uh, 0.63 mile track. So a little, little over half a mile. But I really don't feel like this car is worth the money. It's a pretty decent car, it handles pretty good, and uh, you know it's got fairly decent top speed and acceleration, but uh, you know not a car that I would recommend for racing, unless it's the only one that you have and you don't have much more cash. So again, 21.222, keep that in mind when we go ahead and do the Cyclone, it basically had the identical time. Now the thing about the Cyclone is I really like this car, it's an electric car, it's kind of deceiving as far as uh, you know how quick it is. Now if we were doing a drag race on say a quarter mile track, you know, this car would fare pretty well, probably being one of the top two or three cars in the game. It is hella fast off the start. The acceleration is insane. And uh, the problem with this car is it just kind of dies out. So you would notice after about the first, I don't know, 15 seconds, 14 seconds, that this car is going to kind of peak out at its top speed. It will blow by pretty much every other supercar in the game for the first couple seconds. And then, uh, you know, their top speed and acceleration will just catch up to it. And that's kind of the downfall for this car. So pretty good car. But um, you know, not that great to race, not that great to race with, unless maybe there's a lot of turns, and uh, you can go ahead and use it to your advantage that way. So another car here, very surprising, that the uh, Dubouche Wagner is number nine on the list. Now this car is probably, uh, I would say, one of the best all-around cars to race with, no matter what track you're on. And I know this one came in at ninth place as far as top speed, but you'll notice that there's not a huge difference between, you know. Uh, ninth or eighth place and you know first and second place so this car is great at handling it's got great acceleration great top speed the only thing that i don't really like about the Wagner is it seems it's very loose in the back end so um you know i have some issues going around turns it seems like it has a little bit too much power in the uh in the rear wheels so i'm not sure if it's a rear wheel drive car or not but maybe that could explain it so uh great car i know some great racers that use that i'm pretty consistent with it all the time so it's one of the i would say the top three racing cars in the game no matter what track you're on another car here that's kind of surprising to a certain point the uh tempesta finished in eighth place and now this car i didn't really use that much it was just one of the cars that i bought i think there might have been some other cars you know obviously released roughly about that time so i didn't really get to use them all that much but i mean it's a decent car i'm not sure exactly how much it costs i think it could be under two million so again as far as what you have out there I mean the Wagner is 1.5 million so that's uh, I would say probably the best bargain out of uh, all these cars except for the Fister 811 which is 1.1 million and that car is incredible on a uh, straightaway so we'll go ahead and see what the Tempesta finishes in it again this was the eighth place finisher out of the uh, over 25 cars that I tested and this one came in with a time of uh, 20.966 so we'll go ahead and switch it up to the Overflood Tyrant this is probably one of my favorite cars. I know it's not the fastest car, but I just really like the handling on this car and I like the design of it as well. This car was um, one of the last cars that came out in the, uh, I think, the Super Sport series. So, you know, you'll notice too when I, when I go ahead and do part two on the longer track, which is a mile long, you're going to notice some of these cars that perform really well here in this test are not going to, you know, fare as well in the longer straightaway. And then you got some cars that don't do as good in this test that will really kick ass in that, uh, you know part two on that one mile track so you know there are some races in this game that do have some longer straightaways and you'll notice that you really be able to pick up some ground on the longer ones 
and the shorter ones depending on which car you have so it's definitely a pretty good advantage so that one is 29.55 let's see the next one we got here is one of my favorite cars the t20 i used to rock this car back in the day all the time um unfortunately some of the newer supercars that have come out have a little bit you know more top speed and acceleration and this one has great handling as well and uh, I just forgot to mention for all you guys looking at the license plate in the uh, clips it just goes to show you how long it's been since I've used these cars I've obviously changed most of my newer cars over to the goose plate and I guess I've got so many cars stashed in my garage that I haven't made the adjustments on all of them so no offense to nobody out there but uh so let's go ahead and see again this car is actually really good I mean if you bought this car earlier and you don't have any cash and you haven't bought any new supercars since then you could definitely go ahead and rock this car obviously it all depends on what your uh, handling is and you know your skill level another car that I love as we get into the top five here the Progen um, Italy GTB this has to probably be one of my top two or three favorite cars as far as overall handling speed and just uh, the style of the car I really like this car, I like the paint job on it, again, don't pay attention to the license plate. So we're going to go ahead and check this one out as we're starting to get into the top five. And then we got four other cars, obviously, that we're going to go and uh, show off after this. For anybody out there that was uh, part of my live stream on Friday, I did say I was going to do another giveaway on Saturday night. And uh, unfortunately, things just didn't work out that way. So I think I will be doing another live stream tonight, not sure what I'm playing. So if you guys want to, you can go ahead and join us. I don't know what happened in this part of the clip here, it seems for about 10 seconds the video just kind of froze and then it just kind of picks up right there with the crash into the tree. So we got 20.689 for the uh, Tally GTB and that was actually Ty, if I'm not mistaken, with the uh, Outrach, well, Outarch, oh, I'm sorry, Outarch, unless, no that was number 6, I'm sorry, yeah the T20 and the Tally GTB were, yeah I'm sorry, Tally GTB and the Outarch had the exact identical time as well which is uh, pretty amazing that there's a couple cars in the top 10. We got a tie at 10 between the Cyclone and the uh, GP1. And then we got a tie between the Autarch and the uh, Itali GTB. The Autarch is another car kind of like the Wagner. It's a car that's pretty universally, you know, um, acceptable for any kind of course, whether it's a short course, a lot of turns. This one, I think, actually, in my opinion, has better traction than the uh, Wagner. That's why I actually prefer that one more than the Wagner. But, um, you know, I guess it basically goes, comes up to preference and your skill level and what you can do with the car. Obviously, you can have some players with some great skill level using some cars, like, say, for instance, this one. This car is probably one of the fastest cars in the game as far as on a straightaway. But you will notice that this car has better acceleration um, over the longer straightaway. So... The downfall with this car is it is pretty loose as well in the turns. You can definitely, um, you know, spin out pretty easily uh, because it does have a lot of speed coming in. So if you if you're pretty skilled at turning, you know, this car could be deadly for you because it does have that pull away speed, and uh, you'll notice that especially when we go to the longer track. So that was uh, number four with the Fist 11. So now we have the Overflood Entity at number three, or the XXR version of it, or XX3, whatever the hell it is. So this car came out, if I'm not mistaken, also as part of the Southern San Andreas uh, Super Sports, kind of at the same time that the Taipan was released. And it's kind of funny because they both have like the same exact speed stat and um, acceleration and handling, but the two cars are nowhere close to the same. I don't like the style of this car, but this car performs way better than the Taipan. I do like the style of the Taipan, but that thing is like a sled. So um, that finished, just to give you a little bit of an... Yeah... That one finished at 14. The Taipan came in at 21.44 seconds. And this one is the third fastest, again, on this track at 20.488. And um, like I said, no matter what kind of track you do, you might have similar similar times, you might have different times. The shorter the track, the longer the track, that's really going to all depend because some cars have better acceleration, better top speed, and they get there a little bit quicker with the RPM. So that really um, determines everything. So now we'll go ahead. We're in the number two slot. We have the X80. This car is another great car. Um, you know, it can take a it can take a beating. It's one of those cars that, you know, when you're driving, you know, you get some contact. It doesn't spin out as easy as, like, say, the Wagner does. And that's another reason why I really, I don't prefer to use the Wagner, and I prefer to use some other cars. But this car is great on straightaways. It's um, not the greatest on turning, so that's kind of uh, what you need to, you know, use some strategy when you're going ahead and picking your cars for your specific courses. So, like I said, I will be doing a part two. 
on the longest straightaway so you guys can kind of compare the overall top speed and acceleration over the long haul. But here we go with the first first supercar in this test, finishing at number one, is the uh, Tesseract. I would say this is probably my favorite car. This car is another electric car. It's pretty deceiving, again, as far as the speed and the engine noise. But this car does go slow for the first second or two, and then something just kicks in and this car takes off. And um, I know we're doing some races on rain and, and uh, some of the dry course, but, you know, it was all right after each other and sometimes it decided to rain but I can show you here that it really does not affect it as this does finish as the fastest car in the rain so with that being said I appreciate you guys watching the video hopefully you can get some good information out of this I'll be back on with the live stream tonight look forward to seeing you thanks again guys